the project is a juggling project foremost and we are using bleeding edge technology especially uh, the led props that we have created with the company called flow toys we have been developing this for almost three years now and finally with this project we are ready to do the things that we always wanted to do I think this project is unique in the way that we are using a lot of different technologies that are not on the market yet. We have created them specially for this kind of purpose and we had the chance to collaborate with Flow Toys on a, a bunch of those technologies. Also, some software development has been done for, for this that is also not public yet, that will be released to open source for everyone to be able to do the same. We also had a special production of a smoothie during the... Smoothie? Oh, oh. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, during the production. It was really refreshing, I would say. <laughs> the project, it was run by a rather small team, I would say. Um, there was, at one hand, uh, the artists from Jonglissimo, the juggling group that I've created together with my brother, Christoph. We also partnered with Flow Toys. Um, it's the US American company um, that has created the beautiful uh, juggling clubs and in general is creating uh, light props for like uh, juggling manipulation and flow uh, arts. And we are working together with uh, Ben from France. He has basically envisioned the whole uh, creators system, the whole system to control the clubs and now also hoops and other props. We are the artistic and technical director or lead of this project. Um, we have collaborated very closely on every element, I would say, of the project. And it was a very smooth and very personal collaboration. It's uh, the second or third time I'm working now with uh, Jonglissimo. But what struck me with this project is how everyone was involved in the project. So whenever the jugglers would have done a 20 club passing and uh, finished, uh, finished the rehearsal or shooting, they would be all unplugging everything and going to chargers and, and uh, changing, the, changing the poise. And it looked like a factory in its uh, peak. Uh, for me, this is really what I like in a project like this, that everyone has not just one responsibility or one role, but feels really into the project uh, from start to end and understand that they are making a, a real difference in it. Obviously, this kind of project has a lot of challenges. For example, we are running 150 props, so it's 100 boys, 30 creators clubs and 20 vision clubs. They are all controlled by radio and Wi-Fi and we have to optimize all of this so it runs smoothly. But it's also battery powered, so we have to make care of every time we rehearse, every time we shoot, it's a tight schedule, so we are charging everything in the meantime. Yeah, apart from that, we have a very smooth schedule on the smoothies. And Smoothie? Oh yeah, thanks. Yes, thanks. And that is saving all of it. The way we have done this project is we started off with obviously thinking about all the set design, uh, thinking about what music to use and what elements we want to uh, create for the uh, show. And we, then we started off uh, doing the actual choreography with the jugglers. And then almost like two weeks before the actual video shoot, Ben arrived here in Austria and we started working a lot on the software improvements that we had to do to really create all the elements that we had in mind for the show. And the time with the jugglers was actually quite uh, short. Uh, with all the elements and jugglers, I think it was like three days of creation. And then uh, in addition to that, two days of actually shooting the video. And I think this really was only possible because of the uh, software solutions that we have created 
that enables us to create in such a short time such a, I would say, great quality of content. So when it comes to the music, uh, it's also a subject that is very important for sure because it's something that we need to feel in order to make other people feel. Um, and when going through all the things we were proposing, we really uh, yeah, uh, had the same feeling about uh, Closey. Like it really inspired us and after seeing the shots, it seems that it was almost made for this. Uh, Really, we are really happy with this merge. On top of that, we actually wanted also live music and a bit to, to show interaction between the props and music. So Valerian uh, came to play drums and Manuel had um, cut some music at a good time so we could insert in a good way um, uh, Closes and Valerian's music so it would make honor to both of them. The technology side of things, uh, we were using like on the hardware a new system that was created from Blotoys and software that was created by Ben. The main idea behind it is to really have the possibility of interactivity. So basically we can stream all the colors in real time to the clubs. We have sensors inside of the clubs that give us a lot of information what the club is doing, we can even have the orientation and use that to create uh, interaction between a hula hoop and a club or the live drumming and clubs in the background. So there's really a lot of uh, possibilities to, to use an interactive system. So this project includes a lot of new R&D. Um, it's the first time we actually use the sensors inside those props and we had to both discover what they could do and how we could use them. Hoop is isolation, for example, or club straw detection that we can do now. Uh, we still want to go further on research on that and see how we can have this run smoothly for jugglers to... Smoothly? Uh, no, thank you. No. So along with the creators that enables to do literally everything that we want, but at the cost of more complexity. We also wanted to research on how to use a lot of vision props uh, and capsules. So the vision system. This was a challenge because it's not made for that initially, but we are slowly getting to something that uh, makes us uh, able to control that many props at the same time. So there are many elements in this show that use interactivity because we really think that this raises the bar of how precise it will look and also the, the freedom it gives to the artists to perform at the peak level. And there's many um, elements, um, like one is the beginning of the whole show in the anti-spin act. We have the hula hoop that represents the clock and then we have the first uh, spinner, uh, Edwin, who is uh, manipulating the clubs and arms like uh, the clock. And uh, the, the red club is controlling the dot that is uh, representing the minutes of the time uh, in real time. So we have a special sensor inside of the club that uh, can calculate the orientation in space and this way we really can give the freedom to the artist so he of course should be on the timing to the music but if there is a very slight delay or something it will still look perfectly on time the red dot and it gives a lot of freedom so in anti-spin there is also this light painting on clubs uh, part so one club controlling the others so Edwin is doing the anti-spin and there is his drawing on the clubs behind him. Um, 
we don't need to have the same colors on the clubs and uh, on the on the background because there are infrared LEDs inside the club and it's captured by an infrared camera that is uh, then mapping onto the this structure of the flower uh, of clubs. The special thing is, however, Edwin would manipulate the clubs. Um, it would really be perfectly in time and draw the the light behind him. And this kind of effects can only be done with a computer and real-time communication of every pixel of every prop. For the hoop act, uh, we have uh, created uh, our own LED hoop. The, the system that uh, we used for that is the Creators Tab. It is basically a reduced and very small version of the technology inside of the Creators Club. And uh, with this uh, small uh, board, we can uh, just add some batteries and LED strip and put that inside of the hoop. And then we have all the technology in the same way that we uh, can use it for the clubs. So what is inside the Creator Tab is an SD card, uh, control for LEDs, you have actually control for other things that we didn't use yet, um, and, um, and an IMU, uh, which is orientation sensor. Uh, and this is very interesting for Inga to use because then she can really dance through the music and we are just controlling behaviors, but not uh, a full choreography, light choreography anymore. We are controlling the way she will interact with it. Um, this allo allowed us to create the act in one night, actually. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we are very happy that we could have both of best of both worlds. So the parts in between where Valerian is doing the drums, um, we feature the, the flower of clubs behind him. And uh, it is really interactively uh, controlled by his drumming. So whenever he hits the drums, there will be a different effect there. Ben created the, the way to control it. So on the whole project, we are using mainly two or three softwares, uh, four actually. Uh, the main two are Shateng and Bento, uh, Shateng being the leader and Bento being the, the content creator for uh, all, the, all the things related to the creators and vision uh, props or LEDs. So the system with, uh, with Valerian is that we use we use the clubs basically as a vijing canvas. Um, he will hit the drum, uh, the drum pad. Uh, it will send MIDI notes to Shateng, and Shateng will control then, uh, depending on the MIDI notes and uh, the animations we want, uh, control clips and parameters in Resolume, which is um, a video software, a vijing software. Then Resolume goes into Bento, and because we have the whole flower specialized. Uh, yeah, we can make co coherent animation from that, from the video, uh, and then it goes through Wi-Fi into the clubs. So in the juggling act, uh, we also use the interactivity of the creators clubs a lot um, and especially the, the sensors inside of the club. Um, we use um, the data to detect what kind of throw is happening in the juggling at that moment and can then influence the uh, LED colors that are then real time streamed to the club. So Ben did most of the research uh, for all this sensor data mangling. We actually spent one full day just analyzing data for from the clubs 
there are a lot of sensors working together. Uh, we have the accelerometer, which is three axis, and gyroscope, uh, and magnetometer, but also it outputs linear acceleration, uh, as well as some gravity. other things, and gravity. Uh, so it's almost 14 variables to check at the same time and to analyze and understand what it means. <laughs> Um, it was great and fun to do it, um, but yeah, uh, we could find a way to, to work with that uh, rather efficient when we used Touch Designer as an experimental study uh, to see all the curves moving and analyzing and trying to understand how we can segregate. Uh, then we ported that to a more coding platform inside Chaten, and finally, because we couldn't afford with that many clubs streaming of all the sensor data at the same time, we in in integrated all the, the computing inside the clubs. Uh, that makes uh, the clubs just output, if we want, uh, just output which throws in it. So single, flats, doubles. Uh, and that will later be used to animate interactively in real time what are the lights doing. So we really want to thank everybody involved uh, in the project. Um, on near or far, um, there is a very good uh, collaboration with Flow Toys, who has sponsored this project um, with uh, money, but also with a lot of material that they sent over for us to, to use. Uh, there is Glossy from France, who is an amazing musician and I really think that it's such a beautiful fit to have her music for the project. I want to thank you, Ben, because it was a really amazing collaboration and I really enjoyed how we were on the same level of an artistic vision, but also on the technology side of things. It was so good to have you here. And of course, all the people uh, being part of Shunglissimo. Um, the Chaglas, Dominic, Daniel, Julius, um, Hula Hoop, Inga, and also Antispin, and taking care about a lot of the things around. And obviously there was Edwin in the Antispin who has done a great solo. There was Valerian doing the drumming, and OC who did the filming. It was a small team, but we accomplished I think a very great and unique project and I almost missed one person that I should not miss, um, my brother Christoph, who is always uh, organizing many things in the background, handling a lot of communication and it would not be possible without that. So let's not forget. And I want to thank you for uh, yeah, inviting me and uh, putting confidence in what I can bring to the project. And yeah, it was a very exhausting, very intense, but so good project. Thank you. One of the reasons was also, I think, that we always had a lot of smoothies. That's true. Thank you. Smoothies. Mm. Okay, I think, I think we're done. We yeah, we have enough. Mm. I, I don't know if we will take all of the smoothie cuts. <laughs> but... I was also wondering whether I have to come in when you say smooth leaves. <laughs> <laughs> smooth leaves. <laughs> Can we look stupid again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you. We could cut here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I, I don't have anything to say more. So it's good. <laughs>